Years later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on The Planet of Apes, the 2001 remake or reimagining. It was released on July 27th, 2001. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> Thursday. What year? No. What? Year is it? I originally did not plan to have this film to be a years later series or in the years later series but because of everything lining up originally it was supposed to be Rise of the Ape 10 years later leading up to that point but with doing the previous films that were set of films and sequels on one video this all lines up but the issue with that is this movie is forgettable I don't remember shit the movie at all to be honest with you this is gonna be like a horrible video because I wasn't sure that this is like the worst of the movie and while I don't think it's like the worst movie of all time it's just kind of boring and forgettable and okay like all I remember is a young Mark Wahlberg, the ending, the whole apes Lincoln thing, and a very angry, angry portrayal of an ape who I'm assuming is Caesar or maybe not. Maybe it's like new names and I just completely missed it because I don't know what to say about this film because I have nothing to say. So years later might be on the shorter side because what the hell do I have to say about it? There's probably a bunch of other videos on YouTube that have much more to say about this film because they're much more diehard fans of the series and franchise, but I'm not. I'm a first time watcher and viewer, so watching it, always hearing it's the worst, it's not. Maybe the franchise, maybe it is but the movie itself is not the worst thing at all but i don't know what are so it looks like mark Wahlberg. he he feels like he's i don't know this is his early year so maybe he was just really nervous everything he says it's just not that great this is not working for me at all or maybe it was just the direction by tim burton because he did direct this movie and so it's like he wants him to act this way he feels off and he doesn't seem as confident of an actor as he is now where he's you know a veteran knows what he's doing right here back in 2000 2001 it was just kind of like yeah and then that one angry ass leader ape again all i remember is he is one an angry angry ape like he has like hate and hatred it is his trait this ape's trait he just hates it he looks at them he hates like he's just a very angry you know monkey and ape and that's kind of an issue because all this ape does and all this leader does is kind of brute and be angry which isn't really appealing to watch at all think okay are they gonna do like a good thing bad thing balance thing nope humans are good apes are really evil how they got there all of us already know why but like there's no gray area it's really black and white which is kind of boring or apes are bad they look different they're physically stronger weak ones are the heroes they are the underdogs and it's just it's boring it's too black and white it needs to be like a gray area kind of like in battle but there's not at all they have armor i guess there's one thing that i will like is the armor in this movie it, it looks you know it looks cool like it, it's not ideal but it's like you know what this is a different iteration different reimagining i don't mind it i like it and the apes still look good as i said like earlier in the previous videos the look of the apes will always look good and i think this one is decent some of them do look weird like that one lady that helps with humans that have a distinct love for humankind she looks kind of weird but not what Whatever. but then there's that general like big aping look in general that looks good they look decent they look good and that's really all i remember uh i'm gonna try to remember okay what happens in this movie okay there's a dinner scene this a really angry angry ape trips over mark Wahlberg because he just doesn't like human beings i guess the movie starts off differently because it starts off in like in this futuristic ship and because it is the early 2000s there's like future tech in the film and i always kind of funny going back and watch movies in the late 90s or early 2000s where they have like future tech it's just kind of funny They're like yeah this is the future and how technology is gonna work it's like like, no it's not maybe like 100 years but you know you know 30 years from now when i'm like 30 or whatever ain't gonna happen and then he falls in like this wormhole and then he travels back in future or, or past either way he travels somewhere where he's not supposed to be he's confused he's being in cage and i guess that tenuous theme of being enslaved is still there but everything else just kind of sucks to be honest and then there's the meandering walking in like desert with the uh, both humans and apes and then like it turns out this one really angry ape like killed one of his kind and, and like lied to a bunch of the his armies and apes so then his apes betrayed him and it's like a ape on ape war but then it's like okay whatever like inner mole battle stuff by that point when it is revealed that you know an ape killed an ape whatever whatever happened a betrayal happened i didn't care by that point i was like this is so goddamn boring and even before that there is actually like a big battle in this movie on like a battle of the ape where i'm assuming most people were really disappointed this film actually has a battle like a big battle it's all right you know big explosion right from the start 100 guaranteed apes are gonna win because they're apes like come on now they're just physically different and way more stronger than human beings and then because you know plot armor are main protagonist and group survives and then i think there's like multiple lines I mean, okay maybe not multiple but there's a few lines that where mark Wahlberg says that he's like a hero he needs to lead this band of humans and beat these apes and it's just again i don't buy it, it feels off i don't know if it's him or tim burton's directing but it just feels off and then they prevent apes from destroying the whole world and they find peace all very quickly by the way because this whole thing was like spread throughout like three or four movies in the original timeline this one saw them pretty damn quickly and it is different borrows inspiration from those original films but it just seems to combine everything together so it is different kind 
narrative, but overall still the same kind of movie and story, which is kind of disappointing. The only changes were very angry ape leader, the armor, and the very the acting from Mark Wahlberg. Aside from that, pretty much the same. And then he did go back to where his present, right? Turns out his present is doom as well. It's like a ripple effect where, you know, things happen, he changes it, and now Abraham Lincoln's statue is now an ape Lincoln statue, and cops in ape uniform, or apes in cop uniform, they show up, pointing guns at Mark Wahlberg, and then that's how the movie ends. Well, that is cool. It does feel like a, we need like a, some sort of twist, just like the first one. Bam, this is a twist, and it's like, it doesn't work as well because everyone kind of knows like the twist. Like, going into this movie, I was expecting like the same, oh my god, twist moment by the end, just like the first one, the original 1968 version. And this is kind of that as well, like this version of the Abraham Lincoln ape thing, and it doesn't work at all because everyone knows apes can talk, so it's like, you know, what's the big deal? So, in the end, Planet of the Ape, the 2001 remake or version, it's okay. Is it the worst movie of all time? I don't know. It's not. Is it the worst in this franchise? Possibly. Whenever I do my rankings, but movie as a whole, it's forgettable. It's boring. It's alright. I had a hard time actually talking about this movie because I had no idea what to talk about. So, it does not hold up at all, but it's not a bad movie, if that makes any sense. So, that's it for me. This has been The World So Far, and thank you for watching.